If you feel stuck in tech, the problem isn't your tech stack, it's your habit of switching paths. Early on in my career, when I first started coding, I read every book there is about clean code. I chased after every senior developer I could meet about what I needed to do next to land my first developer job. Even after I landed my first job, then second job, and so forth, I spent my entire first year jumping from advice to advice, book to book, and course to course. But six months went by, then a year, nothing changed. My life was still the same. If you've ever been grinding to break into tech for the last 10 months of this year and nothing is moving, let me tell you why this might be the case and more importantly, what you can do about it. So my name is Phil. I wrote my first line of code at the age of 30. Five years later, I was a senior developer, tech lead, six figure salary, and I've kept it up every year since. And let me tell you, my mountain to my first developer job was so high that it was covered by the clouds. I had the worst possible start. I tried PHP, I tried Java, I tried Python, I tried every language and every stack possible. I tried a bootcamp, I bought like 19 courses on Udemy and that went unfinished. I even bought senior developers food and drinks just to find the secret to breaking into tech. Nothing worked until I did one thing, literally one. I picked one thing, Vue.js, and went all in. I learned one stack. I built one full-scale application from start to finish that I was obsessed with, and that one project got me my first job. Not only that, it was the skills I developed during that process that got me promoted into my first senior developer role. Now, before we move on, I want to address those of you right now thinking programming is going to be obsolete in the age of AI. The reason I am mentioning coding as the foundation of this video is because to survive in tech, especially with AI, programming is going to be a requirement because when an AI native stack hits the market, the high paying jobs that are created by leveraging AI are going to go to the ones who know how to create software. Programmers, let's say you have a goal. Maybe you are a college student who just graduated with a CS degree. This is you, all happy, smiling. You think that degree you just graduated with is going to guarantee you a job in this tech market. Or maybe you are in your 30s or 40s, just like I was, looking for a career switched into tech. Background doesn't really matter because the goal is the same. We all eventually want to get to the top of the mountain and where you are at in your career decides what your mountaintop is. If you are in your first or second year, your mountaintop is to become a junior software developer. If you are in your third or fourth year, you want to get to your six figure salary or maybe if you are ambitious enough, become a senior developer. If you are in your fifth year plus, maybe you want to start your own tech startup or become a tech lead for a multi-million dollar company. I've hit all of these mountaintops. And let me tell you this, there's no perfect path up to the mountain, but there are so many paths you can take. That's the difficulty. There are thousands of boot camps. There are thousands of CS programs, and there's so many courses and mentorships you can choose to help you get there. Some paths might be a three month commitment and some might be a four month commitment. Some paths might take you like a spiral up the mountain, the longest path possible. Some might be extremely steep, but take you to the top the quickest. And after trying almost every path in my first year, I realized something. None of the paths guarantee you success, but it is your ability to ex execute the plans of that path, your resilience to continue walking that path and sticking to it. That will guarantee you will reach the mountaintop. Unlike my mentees, I realized this way too late. During my first year, I already spent eight months looking for a job with skills that were all over the place. I was okay at JavaScript, PHP, Python, Java. Actually, no, I sucked at all of them. I just tried everything and made some toy projects, copied from YouTube videos, and I thought I was good. Everything changed when I committed to one thing, Vue.js with Node.js. That's when I finally made real progress. If you've seen my other videos, you know the story. I got my first job as a front-end developer, then I fell in love with backend, then I became a senior developer for a multi-million dollar company. Built a mental health journaling app, and even a social networking platform with 250,000 users. That's the thing. Most people have a good idea of what to do. It's not like you are clueless. For example, you want to get into shape. 
even if you know nothing about nutrition or what exercises to do, you know you should stop eating junk. Lift weights for each muscle group and eat protein. You already know the basics. Same thing in coding. If you want to be a developer, you need to know how to create an app start to finish. You have to know the syntax of a preferred programming language and most importantly, you need to be a good problem solver. And to land a job in tech, you have to be good at both behavioral and technical interviews. You already know the outline, but instead of doubling down on one program, you chase new programs. You buy five Udemy courses and finish none. You are chasing the perfect plan, thinking there's some magic behind it. But if you just committed to one thing for a year, for example, building one fully functioning project that solves one problem in your life, you'd be further ahead than almost everyone. Just one. That's all it takes. So here's the system I use with my mentees to help them go from total beginner to becoming hireable even in this insanely competitive tech market in 2025. This simple system will help you progress more this month than you did in the last 10 months. So one, choose one path and stop resetting to zero. Two, replace the perfect plan with the perfect conviction. Three, use YTC protocol, you, them checklist to execute like a pro developer every day. Four, create practical weekly targets you can start on today. Let's dive in. Choosing one path. Everyone wants the perfect roadmap because deep down, we are all looking for the shortcut. That's why get rich quick schemes sell so well because they promise the path, but there isn't one perfect path. There are many. Any one of them can be perfect if you commit until the end. When I started out, I chased whatever was trending. I listened to way too many people and ended up mastering none of the skills. Everything changed when I found a project I actually cared about and a stack that made sense to me. That's the same with my mentees, Gabe and Irene. Gabe built a soccer fantasy football app because he loved soccer and wanted a better version to use with his friends. Irene built an app to help her husband scale his business and reach more customers. I can list countless more, but in every success story, there is one common factor. They worked on one project with one stack for six months. When I built my board game directory app based on a card game I'd been obsessed with since middle school, using Vue.js and Node.js, I learned more in those months than in bootcamp and 19 Udemy courses combined. So commit 180 days to one stack. Maybe use React for front end and Node.js for back end like my mentees. But stop stack hopping, stop language hopping. No, just checking out Rust at day 12 because your favorite tech influencer posted a video. Just one. If you do this, I promise you, you will learn more in six months than you would have in three years jumping programs. You already know enough to start. When my mentees first start, I always ask them, what's your dream app? And they hesitate because deep down, they think it's impossible to build. But here's the truth. As a user of these apps, you already know more than you think. You know there needs to be profile management, chatter messaging, authentication like buttons, comments, notifications, ability to post content. Most apps across every niche share the same core features. Part of becoming a developer is learning to take these big features and break them into smaller components. For example, a user profile page probably has upload photo, bio or description, name, birthday, email, edit button, or when a user finishes sign up, they see a login page, a dashboard or homepage, clean layout, consistent design, buttons, icons, navigation. And if the app isn't a game, guess what? It's basically a CRUD app. Create, read, update, delete. That's it. Most apps just show data in a user-friendly way and let you add, view, edit, or delete it with forms and buttons. Go look at Instagram, your favorite fitness app, your budget tracker, notice the similarities. Drop a comment below and tell me what similarities you see. I love to read them. Now here comes the hard part. You're going to suck for the next few months. Everything will feel unknown. And this is where most people quit. Yes, courses and mentors help. 
but some people rely on them so much that they never learn to think for themselves. So here's my advice. Get really good at searching for answers. Most people just copy paste prompts into ChatGPT. I prefer Googling, reading documentation, and comparing different solutions. If you're going to use ChatGPT, use it as a teacher, not a vending machine. Don't type, create a login and sign up page for my app. Instead, type, I'm learning JavaScript, React, and Node.js. Can you point me to the resources that show how to build a login and sign up page with the stack? See the difference? One makes you dependent, the other trains you to think like a developer. Don't be the person who vibe codes for months, then gets hired and can't build or debug anything from scratch. Programming is asking the right questions and solving small problems until the big problem is solved. So develop the habit of figuring things out, not avoiding the unknown. Now, the next part is what I call the YTC protocol. It stands for you, them, and checklist. It all begins with you. You know yourself better than anyone. You know your own weaknesses and strengths. You need to create your own personal rules of reinforcement. Why are you doing this? Is it for money, family, purpose, passion? Be brutally honest because when things get hard, that why will keep you from quitting. Then look at your day. How are you actually learning? Do you sit down and scroll for 30 minutes before writing a line of code? Find two to three hours every day to truly lock in. No distractions, no multitasking, just code. Make two lists, a stop list and a start list. Here are a few examples. Stop list. Stop tutorial hopping, stop researching roadmaps, stop procrastinating with games or videos, and a start list. Start 90 minute deep work blocks, start shipping one pull request a day, start journaling what you learn. That's how you create momentum. Next is them. This refers to the person or the people you are learning from. Find someone who is better than you, even if they are only one step ahead of you. Seek code reviews from them. Ask them about resources that you can look into. Most developers are surprisingly willing to help if they see you're serious. Or find a program or a mentorship that can help you reach your goals faster. There are so many good ones. It doesn't have to be with me. Just pick one and commit. There's no shortage of good advice. Most strategies work if you finish them. Stop switching and learn as much as you can from the person you choose. Now comes the checklist. Because accountability is everything, you can't improve what you don't track. Create two to three tasks per day the night before. Journal what broke and what you learned and attach any links to the docs or GitHub associated with that day. And do something that creates good habits. For me, I do code wars. I make sure I do one algorithm to start my day. Then plan out what you are going to do for the entire week. Maybe two code reviews per day for a whole week or one tiny feature or micro project shipped end to end. So now, if you're still here, I want to tell you the exact 100 day roadmap that has worked for me personally when I first started. It's what I also give to my most driven mentees. But a fair warning, this roadmap is a bit psychotic and it's intense. We're talking eight to 10 hours a day, full focus. This is a roadmap for someone who wants to cut out all the fat and get to the mountain top as quickly as possible. Pick a real problem in your life. Commit to solving it through code. That's your theme for the next 100 days. Two of my mentees, Gabe and Booty, both college students built money tracking apps because they couldn't find any that worked for their needs. This roadmap is tailored to the following stack. React, Vite, React Router, Context on the front end, Node.js plus Express on the back end, MongoDB with Mongoose for the database. And by the end of that roadmap, you could also have real working apps that you can showcase. And if you want more information, please check out my video on how to get hired in tech in 2025. I'll link the full detailed outline in the Google Doc below. Please check it out. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'll personally reply. Most people don't fail because they pick the wrong path. They fail because they never stick to one long enough to see results. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to start from zero again. 
choose your mountain, pick one path, and walk it until you reach the top. The people who win in the tech aren't the smartest. They're the ones who can endure the longest. So if you're serious about breaking the tech in 2025, stop chasing perfection. Start building conviction and I'll see you at the top. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.